Welcome back. George Takei is an actor, author, and activist. He rose to fame playing Sulu in Star Trek. But George's road to Hollywood was not an easy one. As a child, the U.S. government forced his family, along with 120,000 other Japanese Americans, to leave their homes and live in camps. Mm. George is opening up about that time in his graphic memoir, They Called Us Enemy. George, it is such a pleasure to have mm. you here this morning. Well, thank you. It's very exciting for me to be here with you and you. <laughs> <laughs> and the way you're... I mean, if I'm in all honesty, I did not know about this part of mm. American history. This is something I just never learned learned about mm -hmm. um, and and the way you tell it is a way that younger kids can understand uh, almost a, a black spot on our history it's a very dark mm -hmm. spot and uh, I I meet many people like you who when I share my childhood imprisonment uh, are shocked and uh, saddened to hear that uh, chapter of American history so we wanted to reach young people early on when they are absorbing information and it becomes a part of their life to know this. So we chose the uh, graphic novel. I grew up on comic books mm -hmm. and uh, this would be a fun way to tell that story through the eyes of a five-year-old adorable little boy, me. <laughs> I'm looking at, I was looking at some of the pictures from your childhood. Really quickly, tell us what happened. What do you remember? Well, uh, you know, the, a lot of the childhood memories are very fuzzy, mm -hmm. but the one that stands out in my memory is that one morning when my parents got me up very early in the, on that morning, uh, together with my brother, he was a year younger, four years old, my baby sister was an infant. Was that in 42? Uh, uh, 42, yes. 1942, okay. Uh, it was May. Mm -hmm. I turned five in, on April 20th, so it was just a few weeks after my fifth birthday, and... Uh, they dressed us hurriedly, and my parents told my brother and me to wait in the living room. We were looking out the uh, front window, just gazing out, and suddenly we saw two soldiers mm. marching up our driveway, mm. carrying rifles with shiny bayonets on them. Wow. Mm. And they stomped up the porch, and with their fists began banging on the door. I remember it as almost making the whole house tremble. Mm -hmm. I did not. A lot, a lot of people didn't realize the Japanese American people on the West Coast were treated so poorly. You were able to, you know, when all of this was over and look back, you've had this successful career. How were you able to, there were some people who would be bitter and they say, you know what, I'm not happy. I, you know, I'm, my childhood was ruined or we're happy, but you were able to turn it into a positive and have a successful career. But how did you do that? My father told me when I was a teenager, uh, curious about my childhood uh, in imprisonment, he told me that ours is a participatory democracy. Mm -hmm. And if the people who cherish the noble ideals of our democracy don't participate, mm -hmm. then something like that happens. And he took me to the Adlai Stevenson for President campaign head headquarters mm -hmm. to show me how it has to work. Mm -hmm. And I truly understood then right. We have to be participants. It's a shameful voter participation uh, rate that we have. And I'm urging everyone mm -hmm. that who has a franchise to register and vote and then participate, mm -hmm. volunteer, and even more participate, perhaps be appointed to a, 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 com a commission right. and ultimately to run for public office. That's the American way. Mm -hmm. And that's the way to prevent tragedies like this from mm -hmm. happening mm -hmm. and yet it recurs right. and we're seeing it again mm -hmm. today well george i wish we had more time because this is a story that should never be forgotten but make sure you get this book and for more on the memoir visit today.com shop